Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure, then he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was an important day in Toyland. Mr. Straw's horse had hurt his leg, so Noddy was going to take the farmer's hens to market in his car. Hello, Mr. Straw's horse. I'm sorry you hurt your leg, but don't worry. I'll make sure those hens get safely to market. Yes, it is a shame you'll miss the sugar cubes Diner Doll gives you, but too much sugar isn't good for your teeth, you know. All right, I will leave you alone. I don't mind. I've got a job to do. <laughs> about you silly hens. Oh, goodness me. I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Don't you laugh at me, horse. This is not at all funny. Good morning, Noddy. It's kind of you to come and help with our hens, but I don't think it was a good idea. Good idea to park your car in that pond. I didn't mean to. It was your hens, Mr and Mrs Straw, flapping about in front of me. I must drive it out before its wheels get all wet and miserable and it catches a cold. <laughs> of course I shall be able to drive it out. I shall do it backwards. <laughs> Mind you don't get splashed, Mr Straw. Mind you don't get splashed. <laughs> I know you told me so. I hope I didn't splash you, Mr and Mrs Straw. Oh, no, Noddy. We were quite safe. We hid behind each other. My poor little car. It's stuck in the mud. We'll have to pull it free or I shan't be able to take your hens to market. Well, now, Noddy, my lad. Let's put our thinking caps on. I've already put mine on. Look. And it's given me an idea. Your horse can pull my car from the mud. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Noddy, he can't do that, not with his hurt leg. Let's all of us have a good think. Um. Mm. Oh, uh... It's Mr Sparks. <laughs> Perhaps Mr. Sparks could... Mr. Sparks could help. Good idea, Mrs. Straw. Mr. Sparks, can you help us? My poor car is stuck in the pond and we can't think how to get it out. Oh, that's no problem, Noddy. I've got a towing rope. This fire engine will soon pull it out. Oh, thank you. There. I knew we'd solve it if we... If we all put our heads together. Have you tied a good, strong knot, Noddy? Yes. It's ready now. <laughs> of course this will work. Right home, Mr Sparks. One. Two. Three. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, well done! Well done! <laughs> there. I told you it will work. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr Sparks. Thank you for pulling my car out of the mud. Oh, that's quite all right, Noddy. I enjoyed it. Well done, everybody. Now then, Noddy, my lad, it's time to round up... To round up the hens. Right away, Mr and Mrs Straw. <laughs> now, you hens, just sit there. And mind you don't cluck too much or you'll put me off my driving. Now, Noddy, my lad, you'll need to be off. Just leave the ends with my brother at the market. I do hope they'll be good. Here's sixpence for their fare. Now, if they lay any eggs on the way, you can have them to make up for those silly ends making you drive into the pond. Thank you, Mr Straw. 
Do cheer up, horse. I'm sure you'll soon be better. <laughs> Oh, look at that shiny bill! Well, oh, what a fine vehicle that is. Yes, we should all be proud of our fire engine. Sure, I'd like to ride in a fire engine. Oh, I shouldn't. Fire engines go so fast, I should never stop wobbling. <laughs> Isn't the fire engine wonderful? Mr. Sparks rescued me from the farm pond this morning. You are lucky. I should love to see it in action. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Well, yes. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> you never know. At any moment, some unlucky person may be trapped on a roof. I'm sure Mr. Sparks would be pleased to rescue them. I'd love to be rescued from a roof. Oh, I shouldn't. I'd probably wobble off the edge. If he does rescue someone, I hope I shall see it. We must all keep a lookout. I will. But first I must deliver Mr. Straw's hens. Oh, no! Where are the hens? Where have they gone? There they go, flapping down the street. <laughs> oh, what silly hens they are. Come back, you hens. Come back. Come back. Come back. All oh, those hens, where are they? <laughs> you silly hens! Why have you flapped up there? I'll never get you to market now. Come down this minute! Come down! Come down! <laughs> Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, that would be fun. Oh, word. What's that noise I can hear? It's coming from my police station. I suspect that somebody may be in trouble. Ah, uh -huh, just as I was hoping. Time for a rescue. You may need some help, Mr. Sparks. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Sparks. Come along, you silly hen. Thank you so much for rescuing the hens, Mr. Sparks. Oh, not at all. It's an excellent chance to try out this ladder. As soon as we've got the hens off my roof, Noddy, I suggest you take them straight to Mr. Straw's brother before they cause any more trouble. Oh, yes, I will. What a fine rescue, Mr. Sparks. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I enjoyed myself. <laughs> I'm sorry to have been such a nuisance today, Mr. Sparks. It wasn't your fault. It was those silly ends. I'm so pleased Mr. Straw's brother is looking after them at last. I say, Noddy, did you know you had 11 eggs in the back of your car? 11 eggs? Those hens must have laid them on the way from the farm. 11 fresh eggs for tea. Oh, but you must have one of them, Mr. Sparks, for rescuing my car from the pond. Oh, that's very kind. <laughs> what a marvellous day. And another one for rescuing the hens from the roof. That leaves nine eggs for tea. Don't eat them all at once, Noddy, <laughs> or you'll start clucking. Will I? I shouldn't like that at all. Oh, gracious, I should hate to turn into a silly hen. <laughs> Would you like an egg, Mr. Wobbly Man? <laughs> oh, yes, please. And Jumbo. Thank you, Noddy. <laughs> and would you like one, Clockwork Mouse? Yeah, I love <laughs> eggs. Free cheese for Noddy. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Noddy. Noddy. The little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy. He's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Big Ears and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and then he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. Naughty, 